Hey, Kate. Hey. So, Kate, what's your? Where are we? And what's your full name? Where are we? We are in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. And my name's Kate Pallardy. I mean, One L or two. That's two. Two L's. <laughs> that's very. That's important. Yeah, it's very important because why? Why do we need to know that? I know why we need to know that. I, I don't actually know. I know do why. Know I'll that? tell you why. Why? Because we are going to start tracking you. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have no. I'm excited about this year. It's good. I, I've, I'm. Tell us I'm, about your past year. No. Well, I was just trying to get. After giving birth, mm -hmm. um, which was now not that long, like two and a half um, years ago, yeah, two and a half years ago, I tried to go back to triathlon professionally and decided it's just too much time away from the little man. Mm -hmm. So I'm um, running's like my true love. So I decided, you know, what, it's time to get on the road and try to get fast. So each year I've just been progressing, just slowly knocking off minutes we'll say minutes um <laughs> on all my distances um so what did last you year, well, yeah what did you accomplish last year last year was mostly a road year i did some trail races but um let's see um it was it it, it was not a good year because um, what was my what was my race oh my first race of the year was in bermuda i was going to do the bermuda marathon and i went in horribly sick but i decided i'm going to start anyway i had a fever a call like it was just terrible our whole family was sick and I made it halfway through and then I thought I was gonna die it was like the most miserable sick. so that was marathon one bad and then um marathon, well you know when you start out bad you end up good right yeah marathon two was in Burlington Vermont and um I don't know what happened but I ended up shitting my way through the second half of the race so I finished because camera I was, shook on that one I was, I was laughing so hard <laughs> but um I don't know I mean again like it just Racing is never a guarantee. I don't care who you are, what you eat, what you do. Again, but I finished that race, but it was like, what, like a 2.53. I mean, not even close to where I was trained. So I'm just really upset because the marathon year is like either you got spring and you got fall. So now I have to go through the whole summer, and I I'm just praying for a fall fast marathon. But I just trained. I got faster at my halves, you know, eventually. What got was done. your half time? 1.19. 1.19. What's your marathon time? So then, okay, wait, then I went to Hartford. Okay, okay. Um, and decided I was so scared from Burlington that I'm like, I got to eat less on the course. Like I got to take less gels, less calories in. That was the problem. So I under fuel mm -hmm. and hit just like, I mean, I just hit, I, I, I just hit like a wall. I guess you can say a wall, but it wasn't a wall. I mean, it was just like, I under fueled. So yeah. I ran a 251. Right. But Fabulous. I was trained. I really wanted to run a 246. So okay. five minutes is a huge. So I'm like. You know what? Damn it! Like, what's wrong with ah? Like, all the marathons are going back. So then, five weeks later was Philly, and I'm like, I'm going to Philly. I don't care. Five weeks, I can do this. Come here. So um, there's Philly, the little guy. Hey, yeah. Anders. Come here. What happened? <laughs> so in Philly, I finally ran. I ran a 2:48, which was so. It was better. fantastic. It was better. What happened? He got Amazing. Amazing. So I ran 2.48, and I was happy because, it's like, finally, it felt somewhat pieced together. Mm -hmm. Maybe my body is a little tired from the whole year. Just I, mean, I, t I did a ton of road Are you nursing well. still? I'm still nursing. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably that nurse That little guy these. with all that energy. Till when? Um, till when? I'm thinking 20. <laughs> and then maybe pass him off to, like, a girlfriend or something. She's totally kidding. It'll be kidding. a weird relationship. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know at this point. It's like, Look at those biceps. I've moved on. Flex. Flex the biceps. And I don't even know where you're getting them from because you're not even swimming anymore. No, I do a lot. I still do push-ups. I attempt to do pull-ups. Um, I don't know why, but because if you want to run... But I don't know. I just think it's good. And all right, stand up and show everybody that physique. Oh, this is so Come on. Okay, I don't like to like, but it's just look right. at that. Look at that. Turn around. Vegan. <laughs> I go turn this around. Is like fruit, this is the vegan frugivore. Fruit and veggies. Yeah. And what else do you eat? I'm pretty much fueled on coconut water. Mm -hmm. Raw um, coconut bananas, water. Bananas, pineapple, avocados. Um, yeah, how many avocados a day do you eat? I mean, it's like one and a half to two at night. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like medium size. Yeah. And you make a chop salad that's chop so salad. good. Okay, this is key. Stainless steel bowl. Yeah. Cucumbers. Uh huh. Avocado, celery. Red pepper. Red pepper, onion. Right. And then I usually put peas. Mm -hmm. Sea salt. Lemon. And chickpeas, maybe. And pepper. And then sometimes you put raw garlic. You chop it up. 
How about avocado? chickpeas? Chickpeas. Sometimes. Uh-huh. But that just depends on training. Like, how many calories do I need at night? Usually, right. sometimes it can be like, I mean, a boatload of my calories come at night. Like, right. I'm talking like, sometimes at night, maybe 1,200, 1,300, 1,400 calories because during the day, I don't eat that much because right. I'm training. So I try to, I feel better like. What's your training like, look like? See. In the morning, I get up. Me and Anders do a lot of learning. and You're going to homeschool? We're going to homeschool. So we get up. We have two hours of just, like, learning life. Nothing, like, crazy. Where do you, where do you live? New York City. Okay, right across the street from the park. Yes. So you get to the park daily. But at 9.30, I get out. What do you do? What's your first Every workout? day is different, but um, I'd say I'm averaging. Monday through Friday, I average... Um, Total maybe between 15 and 20 miles a day. Wow. 15 but that's, sometimes it's broke up. Sometimes it's at a chunk, but sometimes it's broke up between two And you just, you just uh, joined a team, right? Which team? Central Park you... Track Club. Uh-huh. And, so uh, we have workouts on Tuesday and Thursdays. What are the track workouts? Hard, fast, like just, like, I mean, hard and fast. Can we tell, <laughs> just, can can we tell everybody that your, what your training was like in... Um, what year was it when you went to Thailand to train oh, with Brett? Oh, with Brett Sutton. But. Brett Sutton is the coach of former champion. Like, I mean, champion. if you know triathlon, he's like the Brett coach. Sutton coached Chris Elling- Chrissy Wellington. And, Amazing I mean, a bunch stuff. of, he's coached, you know, a lot of the top. Yeah, and what was that training like? Hell? I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't say hell. I mean, for me, I don't like swimming, so. <laughs> but you'd swim in a pool for what? A 5K? Oh, Three yeah. miles that in a pool? Hard. That was hard. That was hard. Charlotte, he loves um, vegan baby. Daughter, so. <laughs> yeah, Anders is a vegan baby, but um, yeah. I mean, my training's different now. I got a little guy. Yeah. So, um, Ooh. but running, you, you, it's. Well, like, wait. Then the second part of the day, you take Anders. He, I always run him. You but take Anders run, out. Not like it's like um, we go out and either we run two or three miles to a park or to a class. Right. Then he does his park. He does his class, and then we run two or three miles home. Right. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> he has a lot of energy. Um, so and that then, just adds miles, but it's nothing crazy. I'm not trying to tick off, like, I mean, it's like you're pushing him in the stroller and you've already done your workout, so it's like <laughs> 8.45, 9-minute miles. It doesn't even matter if That's I ran That's crazy, 11. but you're doing that up the hills. Yeah, some days are better than others. Sometimes I'm really tired, but. And today you ran up a mountain and back and then up again. And yeah, back. over there I just run like up and to I the peak. I can't really and back. see them. But it's so. it's. it's I'm going to try to pan yeah. out and see what those mountains are. It's up there and down and back and like. It's good. It's good. <laughs> anyway, it was up and down a mountain. I Ridiculous. I take advantage of the terrain because. I don't know, New York is the. Uh, New York, you know you. <laughs> New York City, you get I mean, Central you get, Park. Listen, you can train really well there, but you you're not getting like trail terrain and just it's look at those just legs. Amazing. So we're it's good, and I'm getting a little tan. You getting a little tan from and Hawaii? And I, I did run yesterday in the bikini and the hokas. Oh my god, that was hilarious. So that and well, actually, my bikini became a thong. <laughs> so I warned your After. son that you might want to go in front, or this is going to become a weird relationship. <laughs> Um, but you inspire me, Kate, and I'm sure you're going to inspire a lot of other mothers out there as well as single girls because uh, you you learned and you mastered. You used to just not eat so well when you were a teenager. So all the teenagers out there, maybe you just want to give them, a, like, some advice about eating now. I think it's about um, you gotta and just going into healthy. athletics. And then you can just – you got to eat healthy. you got to be active. And I don't overly – I'm not, like, saying, oh, my God, I can't eat something. I don't watch, like, the calories. I don't analyze that. If you're active and you're just eating good food, you can kind of eat as much yeah. as you need. Right. If I want to eat two pineapple a day, I eat two pineapple, eat five bananas. And so every day avocados. is different anyway. Like, you don't know that depending on the training, you have no idea. I mean, I ate kind of similar foods just because I know it works for my body. But it doesn't mean that I have, I can only eat this much. Like, if after I eat my huge salad at night, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so hungry. I'll go and eat, like, three apples. Right. Um, four, you know, like. So you don't shy away from fat because you're having the avocado. Is there some fats that... I have some nuts. Yeah? Are there some fats that you just don't recommend that you don't think are, you know, for you? Um, I don't like to get fats from, like, oils. Right. Um, But avocados, yeah. And nuts, I think, are, you know, I think nuts have a lot of benefit. Like, there's, there's health. You can overdo nuts easily. I mean, I could eat, like, 
I mean, I could eat like a, 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 a huge. If I didn't control it, I'd be like a whale. And but, uh, you mean with salt or without? Um, I do without. Yeah. Because I mean, I think nuts taste good without. Can't even tell you had a baby. Your body's sick. Well, so, it took a lot of work, though. I mean, it is. I'm really focused. I'm I'm spoiled because I don't have a full time job. So, but you can get this way anyway. I mean, anyone so can. Everybody in your family now. You're one of five kids. So, anybody in your family overweight? Yes. <laughs> but no. Um. So could you? No, so you can gain weight easily. Like if you if you didn't if you didn't work at it. Anyone can. Like I'm. Listen, I'm. Not, I am. Na- like I mean, people say naturally thin, but. Yes, I would. I would gain weight. I wouldn't look like this. Like I work very, very hard. You do work um, hard. I've seen but you But I don't workouts. try to get obsessed. Like it's not an obs- like obsessed. It's because I love it. Um, he's active. I don't make excuses, and it's not easy. Like there's some days I wake up, my legs are sh- like I'm just shattered. I'm tired, but I have so many goals that I'm like, and I just want energy, and it's it's good. You, I actually feel better after running. And what about the Olympics? What are you What are you planning? Olympics. <gasps> no. Um. I still, okay, this year, after, okay, road racing I love, but it doesn't overly inspire me. I, you just, I miss the trails, I miss ultras, I miss long races. I still want to get faster on the road. You're doing Western States? Well, doing, I have to qualify. Okay, I think so that'll be okay. <laughs> I, I'm still going to do the New York City half, I'm still going to do the Boston Marathon, but then I'm going to, after Boston, I got three weeks in between, I got to go down to the Ice Age 50 in Wisconsin. I gotta crush it. No, I gotta get top three. The goal is to seriously just get third. I don't want to like <laughs> overly hurt, like overly put it out on that course. I just want to qualify for Western. All right. And I have to get top three. So if I can get third place there. And in Western, you just want to finish, or you want to do? No. It? <laughs> Stop it. No, I'm going to Western to win it. You mother. I want to crush all of you. No, I'm just okay. No, I just want to get. <laughs> okay. no, that, that, honestly, okay, I'll say top three. Obviously, I want to win, but the thing is, the only thing that is is not on my side is that I am in New York, and that well, the Western isn't overly. You're definitely not relaxing when you're relaxing. By the way, we're noticing that right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is like the little bit, but um, no, New York, the terrain. I can't. Western isn't overly technical, but the terrain is still there, and. What I train on every day is not like is not like like Western. So these girls are gonna have an advantage. So who did you used to train with? My husband Michael Arnstein. Oh, I trained with and Oz husband, Perlman. But I still put, train with Oz, who inspired me last year from his bad water finish and then doing a PR on the marathon in the fall. So mm-hmm. that's my goal: is like top three in Western, or at least beat Oz Perlman's time. I'll put that on record at least, the very least. Which record? What? Which what, no, on Western? I want to beat his time. Oh, his time. I don't time. know what he did, like in eighteen forty-five or something. Oh, I don't know. But I want to beat it. <laughs> Whatever it is, just to you have heard, some. You heard that here first, yeah. Oz Perlman. Yeah, um, <laughs> top three. But okay, so if I fall out of those two, I'm not gonna drop out. Like then it's just to get under twenty-four hours, and then if I have a disaster of a race, it's just to crawl to the finish line. Like I am not not gonna finish that race. Right? Oh like I will be to the finish. But the goal is to be up front. How old are you, Kate? 28. Okay. Um, so. So yeah. So um, you, you have you have any goals for like you know after the after the racing is done is there gonna be racing afterwards or you just have like a window of time? What do you mean racing after what? What happened? <laughs> do you have a window of, of like race of goals or do you have like goals have goals goals, goals, goals and then have another kid? I'm gonna have another kid eventually, but I don't know when. You know, like I don't know. I, I, we want to have another kid, but I'm okay with not having him so close. The thing is, listen, like, I'm still breastfeeding this guy. There's a certain way I want to raise my kids, which I want to commit a lot of time. So it's okay for me if they're, like, they're not, they're not close together. Some women are obsessed with that. I'm like, hey, you know what? If they're five years apart, they're five years apart. I'm 28. Right. It's not like I'm, like, right. my t- clock isn't, like, ticking. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. So we're, like... We do things a little bit different, but we'll have another kid. Yeah. So you, and it might just happen. Like, we do play with fire, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right. That's, like, I'm not pregnant. Thanks for the like, details. Ultimate, like, I mean, for all I know, <laughs> I'm not pregnant right now. I love that. <laughs> but, um, it could happen. So let me ask you one more question. Like, when you, when you, um, when you talk to other mothers, what do you want? What's your... 
What do you think that they could accomplish? Like, if they don't, I they don't have, look, they can't all be Kate Pallady. No. I think sometimes they get a little intimidated, but it's like, listen, you have to set small goals for yourself. I remember, like, my sister when I was younger. I, I just got over, like, eating disorder, all this horrible stuff. And I just wanted to go out and run a mile. One mile. And she was running, like, six or seven a day, right? Mm -hmm. And she laughed at me for running one mile. But I felt that was a big accomplishment. But if I never started running that one mile, I might not be doing what I'm doing now. Right. So it's like, you just got to set up small goals. You got to move. Everyone right. has to move. However you want to move. Is it walking? Is it And if it, even if it's freezing outside, you want to... Yes, your body needs to move. Right. And eating healthy. Everyone can eat healthy. And just... And then the other thing is just having fun, like laughing, like enjoying. Like, I love... I mean, I kind of feel like I'm like a free spirit. Like, I love what I'm doing. I love life. I love... And it's not perfect. Like, things are... You know, like, it's... I don't know. You just gotta have goals. Well, why did you go vegan, though? You went vegan basically because oh, you were an I mean, assistant. That was an easy progression. But it was a progression. I mean, right. it wasn't like one day I was like, ah! It was like slowly, okay, no red meat. And you read the 80-10-10 diet? I, mean, I started learning, educating myself. My body, what do you want? Okay, we're almost done. Okay? I'm gonna finish up here. Yeah, I'm, I yeah, yeah. We gotta go. I yeah. don't know where. <laughs> we gotta go. She says we gotta go. No, I think it was just a progression. How my body felt. I became educated. Um, I started like finding people who ate this way that inspired me. Yeah, and you read I mean, books. It's an easy choice. Now you I read feel books. So good. What's the website that people can go to to find you? Um, I know it's I not skinnyfig.com. Yeah. Skinnyfig. But I, I gotta like. Um, I put some recipes up there, but more family friendly. You have really good vegan recipes. Yeah, Kate. they're not all raw. They're not all. Fam These are like all types of stuff. Oh. All right, I think I gotta go. Okay. All right. Anyway, I gotta go. <laughs> but, um, it was nice catching up. And let's see. The goal right now: Western States. <laughs> all right. You okay, heard that go. here, Perlman. <laughs> Bye. That's kind of